Once built for the 1974 Commonwealth Games, Kiwi 2 Stadium is no more, demolished due to extensive earthquake damage. However, the eastern community is now pushing for the site to become the new home for the recreation and sports centre promised for the east. A community advisory group formed to consider a site for the centre is recommending Kiwi 2 as its preferred location. It does seem to be the preferred site. Obviously we do have to wait for detailed uh, geotechnical information. As well as chairing the local community board, Andrea Cummings is on the advisory board that selected the site. QE2 was first highlighted as a potential site more than two years ago in June 2012. So why did it take so long to get to this point? You know, we are going to be building a, a facility that will last for 50 years and I think that yeah, some of the delays have been unnecessary but on the whole I think we're, we're, we're certainly going in the right direction. One more thing that held up the process was the advisory group. The community needed to be consulted before the decision was final. Until we knew that QE2 was the preferred site, there was no point spending a whole lot of money uh, on, on testing all of the sites. So the next step will be to really just make sure that, that it can be built there. And that's really, I think, the only thing stopping it, in, in my opinion. The site has been described as accessible, with the likelihood to enable wide participation. There is also hope it will impact on social well-being, which will allow the facility to grow over time. We've got the six and a half million dollars from the Canterbury Earthquake Appeal Trust and so that is specifically really tagged for the X factor, something that we don't have anywhere else. Andrea has a few ideas of how those X factor projects could look. One could be taking advantage of using unique lighting to create new looks. The old QE2 had a set Atlantis theme and it was a big, great big concrete monstrosity that really couldn't be changed. But I think nowadays with lighting and LEDs and and, and sound and things, you can make something that's, that's really quite adaptable uh, and you can have your disco night in there and you can have some fun and you can have a more mellow, relaxed atmosphere, that kind of thing. Special surfing and wave pools would also help attract visitors from around the city. The Christchurch City Council will give the final sign-off on the preferred site early next month. Marcus Gibbs, CTV News.